welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra and today we are going to talk about body types, specifically my body type. Before we do that though, it is important for us to have a little quick discussion about how I figured out what my body type is and also how I figured out how to style it in general. The first thing I figured out was what my body type was. I do have a video on this, so I will link it. I will say a lot of people are getting kind of confused still. I get so many freaking comments of like, here are my measurements, help me. I actually have an hourglass body type and the way I figured that out is I measured my shoulders, my bust, my waist, and my hips. Let's compare. <laughs> in a body type form, your shoulders is the top of the hourglass, your hips is the bottom of the hourglass, and the part in the middle that cinches in is your waist. Your shoulders and your hips, top and bottom of the hourglass, need to match. There is a little bit of wiggle room in this. They have to be within two inches of each other. I'll explain with my measurements. Let me pull them up. My shoulders are 39 and a half and my hips are 41. So as you can see, 39.5 and 41 is within two inches of each other. So if I was 39 and 41, I would still be considered an hourglass. But if I was a 38 and a 41, I would be a pear shape because my hips are bigger than my shoulders. If my shoulders were like a 45 and my hips were a 41, I would be an inverted triangle. There are exceptions. <laughs> Again, we're trying to we're trying to be specific to hourglasses, but that's just like what other body types you would be. You would be a different body type if you had those other measurements, right? When it comes to your bust measurement, if your bust is four inches bigger than your hip, then you are a different body type. The reason for this is because you then become top heavy. Now we have to talk about your waist. So your waist has to be eight inches in from your shoulders and your hips. If it does not go in eight inches, you are a rectangle. That's the only way I know how to explain it in simplest terms. I have a 39.5 shoulder, a 35 bust, a 28 waist, and a 41 hip. So with those measurements, you can tell that I am an hourglass. Now that we know what our body type is, that was a lot of work, we can now figure out what specific styles we can wear with our body types. So I have a list. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. I will have this list linked down below for like easy access. You can also look at all the other body types if you do end up being a different one. All right, so first we're gonna talk about the cuts. And this is like shirt wise. Cropped shirts look really good on hourglasses. Ruffles, stripes, and wrap shirts. Necklines, off the shoulder neckline, square, cow, and bateau. Do not wear straight neckline, a very deep low v-neck, and hip detailing. For pants, you wanna wear wide, paper bag, boot cut, high-waisted, straight, and flare. Do not wear skinny jeans, balloon pants, thigh pockets, so just any pants that have like specifically pockets on your thighs that are like sticking out, and low-rise. For dresses, it's empire waist, fit and flare, off the shoulder, and wrap dresses. Do not wear straight cut, big skirts, and tight mini skirts. I'm sure some of those things you could agree with or disagree with, but this is solely on the premise of making your body look the way it naturally does. For example, if I have the thigh pockets, my hips are gonna look bigger than my shoulders because they're sticking out on the sides. So now we know what looks good with our body type. Next thing I would do, and this is what I did and it helped so much. I actually went to Pinterest and what I did on Pinterest, I would look up just different types of outfits. I would just scroll. Anything that I liked, I would pin it onto a board. <laughs> I have so many boards. I don't, okay, 2022 fashion style. I guess that's one of my boards. So we'll just do that one, right? So anything that I found that I liked slightly, even like, oh, that's cute. I just like the top though. I would still pin it because I like the top. After you do this and you have a board full of photos, what you're gonna do is you're gonna just scroll and you're gonna start figuring out specific specifics of what you liked about it. For example, let's just look at this photo, right? Personally, I love high-waisted. I love cropped. As an hourglass, both of those things matched on the list, so I know that's gonna look good on my body type. I like the style of this. It said no deep v-neck, so a regular v-neck should be fine. Also, these pants are not skinny jeans. They're a little bit more of a straight leg, and as we saw on our list, straight legs work. So this is something that I personally would buy. After you do this for a while, you can start realizing, okay, this is what I'm gravitating to. This is what I like. This is what I don't like, and then you go shopping. The best part. You make a list of specific things that you saw most of on your board. Like almost everything on this board for me 
are cropped and high-waisted. So I'm gonna go and buy some crop tops and some high-waisted jeans because that's what I'm gravitating to. That's what looks good on my body type. If you come upon something that you really, really like and it's not on the list or it's on the list of do not wear, there are certain things that you can do to still wear it. Fashion isn't about whether or not your body type looks good. It's about if you feel good or not. Knowing in the back of your mind that like this works with my body type, I'm slaying this right now. Like it just helps with confidence. So there are things that you can do. Obviously, I'm not gonna get into all of this because it's a lot, but for example, let's say you have the pocket jeans, right? They're sticking out, they're making your hips look big. Wearing off the shoulder shirt, that makes your chest look bigger and that way it kind of evens out visually. I personally have really come to love my wardrobe. I'm gonna show you guys sporty, casual, and kind of like a more professional look of what I like to wear. Hopefully it gives you a little bit of inspiration if your style is similar to mine. If not, just take this with a grain of salt and go do you. So before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to Cuts for sponsoring today's video. Cuts is an amazing clothing brand. They have really, really cute cropped shirts, which I actually got a couple of and we're gonna try them on today. So let's open the box and look. Ah! First of all, how beautiful is this packaging? Can we just talk about how sleek this is? Like, oh my lord. Obviously, I was keeping my body type in mind, so I got two cropped shirts. Oh my god, are you kidding? Look how pretty. I just love the bag. Like, I just wanna keep the bag. This is, I'm obsessed. This is so freaking cute and soft. Are you kidding me? Ooh, you got that paper in there being all fancy for me. Here is the second shirt. I had to turn that light off because it was screwing up my white balance. These are both going to look amazing with hourglass body types because they are cropped. So here is the first outfit. This is one of my like more casual outfits that I like to wear. I got these pants from ASOS. I got this top from Fashion Nova. It has a cutout in the back. As you guys know, I'm super, super tall. So I have to get specific types of jeans because I always need extra long jeans. These are kind of like straight leg jeans. Kind of, they're like mom jeans. They're like really loose, very comfortable, and they're high-waisted. As we talked about, high-waisted looks really, really good on our glasses. Ignore the shoes. We're not talking about shoes today. I like this shirt because it's cropped. It cinches me in at the waist, so does the high-waisted, so it makes my waist look very small. I also really, really love the back, how it's backless. I think that looks really good. The top of this shirt is kind of just like, you know, turtleneck style, which I think looks fine with hourglasses. And then the jeans fit really nice because they're loose and baggy. I don't like skinny jeans. And as you could see on our list, skinny jeans don't look that great with hourglass body types anyways, because they can accentuate your hips and then th kind of throw off the balance of your body. You can see my body type, shoulders, hips match. From this angle, my shoulders look a little bit bigger. That's why you want the loose baggy. Fills out here all the way down. It looks very good. It literally goes up cinching in my waist so does the shirt and then comes back out to my shoulders so that is why this outfit looks good on me okay i'm gonna try to move you guys up a little bit so you can see my face this is something i would wear to work i wanted to show you guys what i meant by off the shoulder so this shirt can be off the shoulder and i want you to look at my body I don't know if it's obvious to you, but it's very, very apparent to me how much bigger my shoulders look compared to my hips. Usually I will take this and make it into more of a square neckline. Well, it's more of a scoop neckline. And now this looks good. So some things that I have done to make this look right with my body type is tuck my shirt in. If the shirt was out. It still looks fine, but it just doesn't really accentuate what I want it to accentuate. But because these pants are high-waisted, which is something we've already talked about, looks really good on my body type as an hourglass, when we tuck it in, it accentuates that. Also, these pants, they are flared at the bottom. So that is why this is something that I personally like to wear with my body type as an hourglass. So you saw casual, you saw dressy, now let's look at sporty. So here is the last outfit. This is obviously the shirt that we unpacked from Cuts. I love the color, I love the feel. I really like that they have their logo like on the side right here. It's so like sleek and simple, obsessed. So this is something that I personally would wear to the gym. This looks good on my body type because as we talked about, it's high-waisted, it's Pinches me in really, really well. This type of short actually makes my hips look pretty big. This shirt doesn't make my shoulders look slimmer, so having something to make my hips look bigger is going to be really.
really nice. So if you like this shirt, make sure you use my code Sierra underscore Malin for 15% off. Let me go and try on the other one. Hold on. Okay, here's the other shirt. So freaking cute. I love it so much. So just like loose and flowy. You can do your little jumping jacks, you know? Or just wear it like casually going out. Going to look at some Christmas lights later. I might wear this, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little something something. Thank you so much again to Cuts for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use my code Sierra underscore Malin for 15% off. If this helped, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.